Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Google Chrome tab groups. That's a mouthful. So if you're like me, at any given time within Google Chrome, you may have 20 to 30 tabs open. Maybe you're not a monster like me, uh, but if you are, there is now a better way to actually optimize and make your workflow a little more efficient and at least a little more organized. Now, it is a bare bones feature and I'd like to see them add a bunch of other stuff that could make it even better. But right now, I'm going to show you how to enable and optimize your Google Chrome tab groups. So first off, uh, you need to make sure that you are on the most recent version of Google Chrome. Uh, in order to do that, you know, these little three dots up here, there'll be like a little red arrow. Uh, if you click that, it'll say, you know, download and restart to the newest version of Chrome. Do that if you haven't already. So in order to enable it, you need to type in your web browser, open up a new tab here, go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Uh, and then once you have that typed in, go ahead and go to this site here. Up here under search flags, you can type in groups or tab groups. It doesn't really matter. And then all of these here are the first two uh, for sure. Tab groups and tab groups collapse. Uh, make these, uh, you know, change them from either default or disabled to enabled. That's how you enable the actual group feature within the browser itself. So once you've done that, restart your browser, close out of that tab, uh, and then now what you can do is whenever you have a new tab open, uh, you can right click on that tab, and now an option to you know add this specific tab to a group will come available. You can e either add it to a specific group that you've already created, or you can create a new group. So for PayPal here, I will create a new group, and then now you'll see the little dot that comes uh, to the left-hand side. Uh, before you've named that group, you can just you know select that little dot there, and then go ahead and type in whatever you want to name this specific group. So as you can see, I've named this one Finance, and I'm going to give it a color of green. And then once I've named that group, you can see now I have you know my Finance tabs here, my Personal tabs here, and all of my other tabs, like my Work tabs. As you can see here, I've labeled these as Work, and I have them as the red color. Anytime I am you know within one of these tabs here, you can see uh, that uh, that that tab is actually labeled and highlighted in red, and all of the other tabs here as well. Now, if you wanted to, I guess you could create a new tab uh, and then go here and go to, uh, say, a different uh, tab, drag that over uh, into that specific group, and then that will actually be labeled under that tab group as well. So uh, my Amazon affiliate page, I can go here and I can drag this if I want it to be personal. I can drag it over here if I want it to be work, and then I can just close out when I'm ready to go. Now, if you want to close out an entire group of tabs, you just right click on that tab, go to close group, and it closes the entire group of tabs within the browser. Very, very easy. You can change the color of the tab at any given time. It really doesn't matter. Now, a couple of things I'd love to see them do. Um, I'd love a collapse feature where you can actually right click or click on the tab here, uh, the group, and then collapse all of these under one and then have like a drop down menu where you can just select it and then go to any of these tabs, especially if you have a whole bunch of tabs open, this would be very helpful. Also, um, for some reason, when you close out, so let's say I close out of a tab here and close this out here and then reopen. So if I go here and reopen Facebook, uh, it doesn't automatically go to that new group that I had put it in. I actually have to go back here, uh, go to add tab to a group and then create it once again. I'd like to see it kind of stick, but I do understand kind of where they're going with this. They're thinking that, you know, if you're you know, working throughout the day or, you know, a lot of folks leave their computers on, whatever, this would not be a problem. And I believe you can actually go into uh, Chrome uh, and then go to your preferences here. And then I'm sure you guys know a, a lot about this anyways, but you can go uh, whenever a, uh, you know, you open up Chrome, uh, you can have it open up specific tabs. Uh, so the, the home button here, you know, either a new tab page or enter a custom web address, you can go in here. I'd like to see them change this to where you can open up specific tab groups. Uh, that would be very helpful as well. And I think it would make it even better, a much better feature. So hopefully this has helped you out working with the Google Chrome tab groups. If you have any questions or features you'd like to see, put those in the comment section below. If you would, don't forget to share and like the video. Subscribe if you want more great tech tutorials just like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.